What's up? I think this will be my wrap up for the year as far as the economy goes. <clears throat> I've already kind of said what's going to happen in the next month. We have a European surge. It's going to come over here. It is. It's we're going to get elevated numbers again. It's going to affect everything again. People don't want to listen. And at the end of the day, everybody was warned. Everybody. So I've, people have reached out to me. And for those who have taken necessary precautions, good on you. I'm glad. I'm glad I could help. I'm glad I could help a few people. I'm glad. And I have video testimony, video evidence of my skills for the last year. So though I no longer work in the field and it bothers me, you know, it really does. This is, you know, been a pinnacle moment for me, even if I no longer work in, my, in the field. It's been the best. Not because it's terrible on people. I don't wish this would happen. But people have made it worse and they're going to continue to make it worse. They'll continue to blame things on the wrong people because they don't know what they're ignorant. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't. But it's the same thing I always tell people. Whatever you do, you're good at it. And I think I could learn something from what you do. So why wouldn't you want to learn something from me? Why? Because I no longer work in the field? You still think that's irrelevant? No, that's not the case. It's not. You don't lose that type of fundamentals. You know? I was fortunate. I was, at the time, I was a fortunate individual. I loved suits. God, I love suits. I like going to my office. Didn't like doing, you know, dockets much. And then scanning market because I'd have to go over and, you know, look at appraisals <laughs> and get numbers and crunch them and look at, you know, evaluations from different counties. And it, it was crazy. A lot of, a lot of like, you know, back in the day, I didn't have everything accessible on the internet. You know, you had to do a lot of things manual back then. Uh, and then, you know, whatever. You know, and then you chart everything, you know, that was kind of cool though. Um, I, I, I hated it, but at the same time, I enjoyed what I did. And even back then, nobody listened. You know, the Ivy grads were like, oh, you know, from the company were like, oh, you know, it's, that's completely not, you know, and I was like, okay, whatever, whatever. So I, I want to give this one notice it's a good article and i'll kind of do a commentary on it and and i you know at the end of the day i'm going to recommend people get a hold of their financial advisors please do so please do so get a hold of your financial advisors it's important especially now more than ever and if you don't want to listen hey please don't please don't you're right. No, you're not. Trump. And, I, and I'll go ahead and pull that up if you guys want. Uh, but let's let's go over this. It's from NASDAQ. This one strategy could save you during a market crash. Now, articles like this are not put out likely from, a, you know, a renowned, you know... It, 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 you know they're not gonna put out this stuff if the if the threat wasn't real this just came out today 649 will the stark stock market crash before 2021 comes to a close we really don't know stocks have been overvalued yes for such a long time I call it the everything bubble. 
the everything bubble. Yes. That many investors are shocked that the market hasn't tanked this year already. I said it. I, I anticipated an October crash. It should have. It, I mean, it's ripe for the picking. It's well, in here it says, but predicting a stock market is a difficult thing to do, even when the circumstances seem ripe, ripe for one. It's ripe. It's ripe for the picking. If we get past it in two weeks, I'll be stunned. But that's even a like I said, a worst case scenario. Preparing for a stock market crash, however, is much easier feat to pull off. Preparing for it. In fact, you can gear up for the for a downturn by adopting one simple investment strategy. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Diversify. Okay. Now. I'm going, look at this. Back last year, there was an exodus. A fucking exodus of economists. You still don't believe it? Let's let's like let's type up this one. There's friggin' um, a mass letter um, maybe it wouldn't be one thousand economists have signed a letter urging voters to reject reckless and selfless, selfish Trump. Listen, a thousand economists, mass exodus, 13 economists resigned. He wasn't supposed to open it up. And what everybody's doing now is reckless. To the people I have helped, you're welcome. Thank you for sending messages. Thank you. Thank you for your support. For the people who are pissed at me because, you know, I put it out there. I don't know what to tell you. People are like, you don't need to be a rock scientist. Yeah, you need, you need to know your shit in this field. I've I've went I've gotten to be with Ivy grads and have smacked them down. I called this a year. I have all the video evidence at my fingertips, at my disposal. Do I hate my life? Yeah, I do. Because I wanted more. I did. <sighs> I keep trying to tell myself everything happens for a reason. And sometimes I don't believe it. But I try to tell myself that. If you are arrogant not to listen to a professionals and previous professionals you have nobody to blame but yourself it's reckless and if you lose it all and let's be honest here I'm going to be honest if a market crashes and people don't take precautions they will they will and that's nobody's fault but theirs. What this country is doing 
is reckless. Peace.